Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys some updates on some pretty good news as far as the future of gaming goes and game preservation. We briefly talked about this yesterday when we talked about the Crew 2's deal, but also want to go over the fact that the Crew 2 and Crew Motorfest will be getting offline components. Obviously, this is a big deal after a lot of questions have been raised as far as the future of game preservation and games being playable and not getting pulled from your account or being inaccessible after you spend a lot of money on them. We'll talk about that. Final Fantasy 16 will be dropping on PC just six days away for the release on that. Can't believe it's coming out so soon. September the 17th? Yeah, right around the corner. For some reason, I thought that was, it was September the 19th. Um, God of War Ragnarok is September the 19th. So we'll talk about that as the demo gets a new update. And Dragon's Dogma 2, a game that's P its PC performance has left a lot to be desired. It is going to be getting an update as well. But first of all, as we briefly talked about yesterday, the Crew 2 and the Crew Motorfest will be getting offline components. Obviously, this is coming off the heels over the disaster situation that happened earlier this year with the Crew 1 uh, being essentially just pulled from people's accounts. Like, it's not pulled, you could still download it, but it, it's pretty much a, uh, it, it's worth nothing because you can't access the game anymore. The game is online only. There was never an offline component implemented in the game, so it's just GG for anybody that bought the crew and you don't have access to the game that a lot of you guys probably spent, you know, $50, $60 on it. There were digital deluxe editions, there were microtransactions, and Ubisoft was just like, no, nah, we're gonna shut the game down. Now they have come out, the crew Twitter account noted, we have heard your crew uh, concerns about access to the crew games. Today, we want to express our commitment to the future of the Crew 2 and the Crew Motorfest. We can confirm an offline mode to ensure long-term access to both titles. Stay tuned for more news in the next months. Now, I crap on Ubisoft quite a lot. However, this is going to be one instance of me giving them credit where credit is due. Now, you could also make the argument that maybe this is something that should just be a part of gaming this should be expected and me giving them credit for it is just them getting credit for something that should be the standard yes my expectations out of Ubisoft are in the dumpster. They are, like, non-existent. Ubisoft, I just imagine, are going to continue fleecing the consumer. They're going to continue releasing $130 Ultimate Editions, fake early access, online-only games, microtransactions up the wazoo. Uh, I don't expect a lot of consumer-friendly things out of them. So when we have something that is consumer-friendly out of Ubisoft, guess what? I am pleasantly surprised, and I will give them credit for it, even if maybe it is not deserved. Um, you know, in a in a vacuum, Crew 2, Crew Motorfest, for a lot of you guys, they're games you don't care about. Crew 2, however, is 99 cents on Steam right now, and I feel like for that price point, um, you know, 99 cents, that's a pretty damn good deal. Like, uh, come on now, like, I feel like it's worth it at that price point. And now knowing that there is going to be an offline component, the game is going to be preserved, I feel like uh, it might be something worthwhile to check out at a dollar. But hopefully... This also goes to show other publishers, other developers, that if you want to do an online-only component, hey, some games can only exist online-only. An MMO, I can kind of understand why that would be online-only, but The Crew is a game that I feel like you could do some sort of offline component fairly easily. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is another recently released uh, racing game, online racing game, that does not have an offline component. That game getting an offline component would be nice as well, but uh, we'll see if that turns out. At least in this case... Uh, Ubisoft is doing a solid. Next up, Final Fantasy 16 PC demo version gets an update. Uh, update version 1.02. It noted that it fixed the stuttering issue, which I did notice a little bit of stuttering here and there. They also note certain characters not being displayed properly fixed, user adjustments to the graphics setting, screen space reflections not being properly applied, user adjustments to the graphics setting, variable uh, rate shading, that has been uh, fixed, and screen mode settings not being saved on current hardware environment. They also, again, do note that they fixed the stuttering issue. Um, Final Fantasy 16 is a game that some people absolutely love. Other people, based on it being just a straight-up action game more than an RPG, do not enjoy it. It does have a sizable amount of content. 
I highly recommend you guys play the demo. The demo is going to give you a good idea of the game and what to expect out of the gameplay and also the spectacle that the game is. I think that's something everybody can agree on. That Final Fantasy 16 is an absolute spectacle and in that regard, it is an incredible, incredible experience in terms of the scale of the boss fights in these in, in the game. It's remarkable. Um, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy 16. I thought Clive was you know, a more mature Final Fantasy main character, which I really did appreciate. And uh, yeah, it is more so an action game, but Final Fantasy XV was very much a fast-paced action game as well. Uh, bigger open world and things of that nature, and FF16 a little bit more contained in that regard, but phenomenal soundtrack. Uh, try out the demo, see how it runs on your PC. I tried playing the game on the ROG Ally, and uh, whether or not it's playable, I mean, some people, I guess, can find it playable, I don't think it's very much playable on the Ally, you guys. I think uh, it's a little bit cooked on there, to be honest. And given how good this game looks visually, I just think you should have, you know, uh, this is a game you should be playing on the gaming PC. A higher-end rig certainly would go a long way. So that's my two cents on that. Demo update available. And go download the demo, try it out for yourself, and you can come to a conclusion on whether or not you want to pick it up. Remember, the complete edition includes the two pieces of DLC that are worthwhile uh, so check that out. Lastly, Dragon's Dogma 2 getting an update. As the Dragon's Dogma Twitter account put out a tweet, Dragon's Dogma 2 update incoming. We will soon be releasing an update for all platforms that will further improve CPU load, reduce crashes, and bring additional adjustments. Further details will be announced as soon as they are ready. Uh, this was a game that had a lot of anticipation earlier this year. Uh, I did play it wasn't really my cup of tea. I have friends that absolutely loved it. I have friends that also uh, didn't like it whatsoever. It is one of the more divisive games of the year, much like Final Fantasy 16, in fact, where Dogma 2 kind of harkens back to a different era of RPGs and doesn't hold your hand all too much. And for a lot of people, they're going to really like it. The traversal, they're really going to enjoy. For me, wasn't my cup of tea and the performance on PC really left a lot to be desired. So that was a little bit of a bummer as well. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you're going to end up really enjoying Dogma 2. The thing is, it's 70 bucks. It does go on sale, and we've seen it for like uh, $40 and change, which for that price point, it's probably going to be well worth it. And it is a sizable game. Replayability is there. Uh, if you rush through the main story, you can complete it fairly quickly. Do keep that in mind. But, you know, for... The, for around $40, I think there's going to be a lot of fun. Dogma 1 is on sale right now, I think for like $5 as well. So if you want to check that out, Dogma 1 goes on sale all the time. So, you know, that game definitely shows its age. But that's going to do it for me. Again, as far as the Crew 2 and the Crew Motorfest, this is a good sign for PC gaming and gaming in general in regards to game preservation if they actually do take, you know, implementing offline components in these games seriously. That's something really, really good. So hopefully that'll be the standard going forward, especially for Ubisoft. Final Fantasy 16 out in just a few days, and the demo gets an update to fix some issues, and hopefully, you know, more fixes will be coming. So when the game actually comes out, it'll be at a solid state. And Dragon's Dogma 2, an update for that, uh, looking to increase performance, is going to be dropping as well. Let's see how that turns out. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.